You know, it's like I've been saying for the longest time, okay? Nothing in this world lasts forever, both good and bad, <laughs> you know? Sometimes in life, you're on a winning streak. It happened to me, you know, just give you an example in Atlantic City. I went one time to Atlantic City, I'm not kidding you, every single day for like an entire month. And guess what? I won every single day. I never will forget this as long as I live. I was literally considering becoming a professional gambler. I told my wife, I'm like, that. this is it. This is my life. I made like $40,000 in like one month. And I just, I couldn't lose, like no matter what I did. Every time I went, I'm hitting 18, I'm hitting 19. I always played the same numbers. I play 16, I play 18, 19, 21, 23, okay? And I just, what I normally do is I start off with like, you know, small. I'll start small. I'll throw a $5 chip on each number. Because I don't, I hit it when I hit from the, the beginning. I actually want to hit. I want to hit down the line. I don't want to, because if I hit in the beginning, well, I'm going to get a lousy $185, right? So then the next bet, I'll double it up. I'll put $10 on each number. The next bet, I'll put $15 on each number. The next bet, $20. You follow me? I keep uh, increasing it by increments of $5. $25 a number, $30 a number, $35 a number. So the, the, the thing is, it doesn't matter when I hit. It does, see, but the thing is, you got to have the bankroll. You you know, I was going there with bankrolls. Like, I was going there with $30,000 or something <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have a bankroll. You can't just go there with you know with a couple of hundred bucks. So the thing is, whenever I hit, whenever that will be, if it's the tenth spin, the fifteenth, the twentieth, whatever it is, booyaka. You understand? Uh, I I win. So I've been doing. I was doing this for like thirty days, forty days, whatever it was. I was winning every day. I was winning like I won like forty grand. So. I remember I took my family to Florida. I put the new liner in on my pool. I put a heater. It cost me seven thousand dollars in the backyard. I put a heater in. I was just I was paying off bills. I was going out to restaurants. I was partying. We went to Florida. I mean it was great. I mean all on the casino. So I said to my wife, I'm like, oh, you know what? This is my career. I said <laughs> when I came back from Florida, oh man, it was like they they uh, they they hired an, an assassin. I never forget they got, you know, this uh, Asian guy who he had this look in his eye like he was out to get me. He was like, he was like this guy, you could tell he was just like a pro with the roulette. Like he just knew how to spin the ball. He had this technique where he'll never hit my number. Now, you see, this is where they draw you in. And I was thinking to myself, you know, I kept that same, you know, technique where I just kept increasing, increasing the bets. Well, it turned out I lost, uh, I don't know. 15, 18,000 that night, and um, you would think I would stop, right? I went back the next night, and I think I lost another 10. And then I, I came to realize, <laughs> I was like, I mean, thank God, look, mostly it was buddy that I, it wasn't really my buddy I lost, it was their buddy, but still, oh man, my wife was pissed at me. I stopped going after that for a very long time. Like, I think I lost like 30,000 or something in like two nights. But th that's what I'm trying to make you understand. This is the point of the video. Nothing lasts forever, both now good and bad. Now we'll talk about the, the hedge funds, which is the really the point of, of, of this video, is that they have been using all kinds of, you know, in my opinion, and allegedly, of course, but I, I, I have no, no doubt. I'm very confident that they have been doing nothing but illegal tactics. Short, you know, the shorts are using either naked shorting, synthetic shares, fake shares. They're driving the stock down. They're, you know, the dark pools. They're processing orders whenever they want. They're doing whatever they want. They have a ticket to ride. But you see, this can't last forever. They can't do this forever. Something eventually will bite them in their, you know, their ball sack. Something will bite them in their ass, whether it's going to be the Department of Justice, whether it's just going to be, you know, sometimes it's just the stars are on the line for them. Sometimes they're losing tons of money in other places and, and they're forced to cover. My point is this. Nothing lasts forever. And at some point, okay, their, their uh, Mount, Mount Everest is going to have a major, major avalanche and it's just going to, it's going to just destroy the hedge funds. It's going to destroy, it's going to destroy, it's going to destroy the short sellers and we're going to be victorious, baby. V for victory because nothing lasts forever. You can't keep this up forever, Ken Griffin. You can't. And we're resilient. Okay. That's what he, he underestimates the, the apes. We're resilient. We have diamond balls of steel. We hold. 
I hold for you, you hold for me, baby.